So we're off. We're off. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. So this is it. The day has arrived. What day is that? Which are you on the way? Are you alright, pink mask? Oh, darling, look at you. You look all stylish, don't you? Right, we're on our way. So there we go. We see that sign? What's that say? It says sold. <laughs> Subject to contract at least, anyway. We don't want to say too much just yet. But we'll give you more information when the time is right. So we're on our way now to our local health centre. We're going to get the coronavirus vaccine. So off now to get the coronavirus vaccine. Our first shot of two. We don't know which one's going to be. It might be the controversial AstraZeneca version but it's safe and we're going to document our recovery from the vaccine to show you just how mild the side effects might be and how simple and easy it is and it gives us protection and gives others protection too. Yeah, you okay my darling? Yeah. Oh you got your mask right over your nose. <laughs> Pink nose. <laughs> <laughs> So we're walking now to the health centre. It's about 1.2 miles away. We don't have a car, as you know, so we have to walk everywhere now. And this is Jane's first time at the house in about a week. She's still recovering from her operation. Still suffering some side effects. She's still trying to get back to how she was. It's been difficult though, hasn't it? Yeah. The warmer weather's starting to come here. It's starting to get a little bit warmer now. Easter next weekend, can you believe already? Easter. Three years ago, we were in the Philippines, right now. Yeah. At Alona Beach, weren't we? Three years ago, three short years. Really miss it. where we're going to be having our first shot of our coronavirus vaccine. Okay, so just about to go now. Just about to get done now. Join the queue and wait to get the coronavirus vaccine. Are you feeling Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Not even nervous at the moment. So we're just waiting here in a queue. We can't get us one by one. Go on to our appointments and we'll be done. There we go, so I've just been vaccinated, my first dose, AstraZeneca, 24th of March 2021. I've blanked out some details, I can't let you see all of it. Just waiting for Jane now. So they gave me an information sheet and my vaccine card I need to bring to my second appointment in approximately 11 to 12 weeks time. So I'm just waiting for Jane now, she's in there getting her vaccine and then we're going to walk back home. Keep my mask on just in case a lot of people are about. Now what are the side effects of the vaccine? Well there can be some. Likely to feel a sore arm next day, maybe get some headaches, even flu type symptoms. But hopefully nothing too severe. But it could be that the Philippines will reopen to vaccinated tourists soon. Just my hunch, my personal hunch, but it's quite likely. So there's got a few people here waiting in queue, waiting in line. So there's the line for the vaccinations. They call you in, they take your name, they run through some questions about your general health. Have you had any vaccines in the last seven days or four weeks? How's your overall health? And then it's literally takes all of two seconds. Quick jab in the arm and away you go. And there's Jane, she's done. Have you got your card, my darling? Yeah. You put it in your handbag? Yeah. It's all okay? Yeah. You had AstraZeneca? AstraZeneca. 
I think so, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, same as me. You've had the same like, batch, okay. I think. Just a little bit thin in the arm. It's very quick, wasn't it? Yeah, it's very quick, is what they say. You know, headaches. Cold. Yeah, we could get headaches, flu like symptoms flu like symptoms even. Uh, headaches, flu like symptoms. We might have um a sore arm. Did you have your left arm or your right? Left. <laughs> Mine left too. Yeah, I think I need to um like my right keep, one. keep a strong arm yeah just in case use it a lot yeah all right status update we're still on our way back home and have we had any side effects from the vaccine <laughs> well, my back's a bit itchy and my shoulder my arm is starting to feel a little bit sore but nothing much There's a little bit of pain in my arm but nothing else so far so if you haven't had your vaccine yet and you have been invited there's no reason not to it's good for you it's good for others helps keep you and others safe and who knows it might let you travel to places that you're otherwise not allowed to go to will the philippines allow vaccinated tourists in i think they will so if you're thinking of going to the philippines this year and you are offered the coronavirus vaccine you may need it to get in it's just our opinion, it might not be fact, but who knows. Busy road here. Some cars don't even indicate, do they? Some cars don't indicate at all. Sticking a finger up. Really? Yeah. All because I was there with a camera in my hand and she's there sticking a middle finger up. This is the country we live in. This is England. And you ask us why we want to leave England and move to the Philippines. I wonder. Summer road. Very road. She couldn't have been any older than 18 or less. Even le even younger, I think. Yeah, they're very road. And all because her mum turned the corner, didn't indicate, and I was there with a camera in my hand, she stuck her finger up. <laughs> anyway, we're almost back in our street. Doesn't mean we're nearly home though, because it's a very long street. But you can see the moon out tonight, today, this evening, this afternoon. The house sale is still going through. We're still waiting for some updates on it. It's looking promising, but until everything's signed and sealed and exchanged, then anything can happen. So we can't, we can't count our chickens fully hatched. But we can count the chickens we're going to have in the Philippines, we're going to have five. Chicken one, chicken two, chicken three, chicken four and chicken five. Are we going to name them? I don't know. I'm not sure about naming animals that you use for food. We're not going to eat them, but we're going to have the eggs. But we might not want to get too attached to them, just in case. <laughs> Did you all parents name their animals their pigs and their chickens no. you didn't grow up with them and give no. them names no. <laughs> so we're almost home so we're going to leave this vlog here but we'll update you very soon with the progress on our house sale and what else we got coming up thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so also consider hitting the bell icon to be notified when we upload our next video our moves getting closer and closer and us having the vaccine today puts us a step closer thank you very much and we'll see you on our next video okay well as you can see all right well they put some bandage or some little gauze on my arm after i had the vaccination but they haven't done that with jane um so any side effects so far a little bit of itchiness a little bit of a uh, arm ache on this arm but it's not been too bad so get your vaccine today.